of Martin Luther King High School families. I'm Mr. West, and it is my privilege to be the principal here at Martin Luther King High School. As you know, we're going to have our in-person program students come back to campus here real quick. We want to make sure that all students and families know our COVID-related rules and procedures that are now in place. To do that, we have put together this video which will highlight the key aspects of our return to campus protocols so that everyone is on the same page and we can get off to a great start when students return. All of our teachers and staff are very excited to have students back on campus. Please pay close attention to this video. Your cooperation and adherence to our COVID safety guidelines will be essential as we return back to campus. Before you leave your house, make sure you don't have any of the symptoms associated with COVID-19. These include fever, 100.4 or more, cough, difficulty breathing, loss of taste or smell, red or itchy eyes, congestion or runny nose, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, sore throat, headache, fatigue or muscle or body aches. If you have any COVID-19 symptoms, have tested positive for COVID within the last 14 days, or have been in close contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19 within the last 14 days, then stay home and contact attendants by phone at 951-789-5690 or through email at mlkattendants at riversideunified.org and tell them the reason you are staying home. Our district assigned COVID nurse will reach out to you with further information. Entering the parking lot, students who drive to campus will park near the administration building or in the North 40. Parking area near the pool will now be reserved for student drop-off and pickup. Parents, when dropping off your student, please enter campus and drive towards the tennis courts and pool. You will make a lift at the far end of the lot and pull up to the area near the multipurpose room. It is here that you will drop off your student. When safe to do so, exit campus by way of the main entrance ramp. Once on campus and outside your personal car, masks must be worn at all times unless you are sitting down and eating. Also remember to maintain six feet distance from each other at all times. The campus will not be open to students until 8.55 a.m., so please do not arrive and congregate before that time. There are three areas you can enter campus, through the multipurpose room, through the administration lobby, or through the F building by that ceramics room. All students will need to walk through our thermal scanning area located in each of these areas while remaining physically distanced from each other. Students who have special permission to enter through the staff lot will have their temperatures taken by a hand scanner. Please arrive at least 15 minutes prior to the start of school in order to give yourself plenty of extra time to get scanned. While you are waiting for your first class to start, please stay in the quad nearest your class. First period starts at 9.25 a.m., so please go to your class at least five minutes early. Your teachers have arranged their classrooms so that you are facing forward and appropriately distanced. Once in the room, you will need to take a sanitary wipe and clean your desk area and shield. Dispose of your wipe and sanitize your hands. Remember to keep your masks on at all times and to remain socially distanced. At the end of the class, take another sanitary wipe and wipe down your desk area and shield. Dispose of your wipe and then sanitize your hands again. Remember to keep your mask on at all times and remain socially distanced. In order to minimize cross-traffic contact and to enable social distancing, we have specific paths of travel that will keep you mostly on one-way routes. Please study your map so that you can know the best way across campus. Arrows are placed throughout campus to help you know which direction you can go. Roundabouts are placed in intersections to help us keep from crisscrossing each other. Stairways are all one way, with the stairs closest to the administration building being up only. Stairways further from the administration building are down only. The administration building is the round shaped building in the center of campus. With 10 minute passing periods, you will have plenty of time to get from class to class. 
hand sanitizing stations will be placed throughout campus. Drinking fountains will only be available to refill your water bottles. Please remember that as much as you want to stop and visit, it is important that you keep moving from class to class to not stop the safe flow of foot traffic. Pay attention to signs and arrows and you will be just fine. Lunches will be split into two parts based on your third and fourth period classroom number. The first lunch is the blue lunch, and the second lunch is the red lunch. During passing period, you will go to one of the three quad areas to eat lunch. Once you have figured out which quad you want to eat lunch in, we ask that you keep going to that quad for the remainder of the year. Our staff will help balance the quad counts out as needed. Lunches will be grab and go. Remember to only sit in the designated areas where sit here signs are located. Maintain social distancing and only take off your mask when eating or drinking. In order to prohibit walking without masks, you must remain stationary while eating or drinking. Please throw away your trash after you eat to help our custodians have more time to disinfect tables and our eating areas. first floor D, G, and E building restrooms will be available for student use. Only a few students will be permitted to use the restroom at any one time. If you are waiting for the restroom, remain socially distanced in the designated waiting areas. Remember to wash your hands, remain socially distanced, and keep your mask on at all times. Any student who is not feeling well should tell their teacher or an adult staff member immediately. Staff will escort you to room D104 where you will receive assistance. This is different than before. Instead of going to the health office, you will go to room D104. Remember, don't just go alone. Tell an adult staff member and they will guide you there. At the end of the day, remember to follow the arrows when you exit. Remember to remain socially distanced and keep your mask on. After school ends, students are not able to remain on campus, so please do not congregate in the halls or in the parking lot. If you have a parent that wants to pick you up, they can park near the pool and pick you up from there. Cars cannot wait along the sidewalk to pick up students. They will need to park in the parking lot in order to pick you up. If you need to wait for a ride, please remain socially distanced on the sidewalk adjacent to the parking lot. Let's review some of the main points together. Check your health before you leave home. Arrive to school early for your temperature check. Keep your mask on at all times. Wash your hands frequently. Wipe down your desks and shields. Follow the path of travel arrows. Remain in your chosen quad for lunch. Remain socially distanced at all times. The bathrooms are located on the first floor. And if you feel sick, tell a staff member. And remember to leave campus at the end of the day. It is very important that we adhere to these safety rules and procedures in order to help us all remain safe and healthy while on campus. Additionally, following these rules and procedures will help us remain compliant with state and local regulations regarding in-person learning. We look forward to seeing you on campus soon again and cannot wait to learn again together in person here at Martin Luther King High School.